us an update on the... Yeah, so far, uh, so last night there was a mass uh, prison break. Uh, there were, I think there were like 30 something, I've got my numbers over here, 30 something prisoners. Uh, 36 prisoners took off last night and we captured pretty much all of them. And uh, there were 10 outstanding uh, this morning and we just caught, caught another one. So the last one I put in my email, So These are the ones. Facebook. So outstanding As you know, so these are bad fellas. Dangerous. Yeah, they're very dangerous fellas, these guys. So we're trying to get them in as, as, as quick as we can. And as you can see, we haven't stopped since we, since we got this notice. Uh, and we're going to go all the way until we capture these nine remaining guys. Uh, for the info, uh, prisoners, we got five prisoners now at the hospital with, uh, with some serious injuries. They've been admitted into the hospital, five of them. Gassi the prison guard, like go for my giving and our help in whatever they're doing their work for, for these guys, with him. Uh, also, lower lockdown, another prison here, we got it under control. We got officers up there, the Kelly for the staff for the prison here. So we pretty much have it secure. It's now locating, searching for these guys here. So we're working uh, all around the clock now and bringing all our resources out to my My advice is the public, don't freak out too much. We're going to get him into custody. If you see these guys, call us. Call 911 or better yet, be the number 2 225 times, the number 2. And I said, I'll let go of dispatch center there a little, little. Then, if I don't have to respond, but do not approach these guys, let us do our work, and then we'll come over there and deal with them really, really quickly. Is there, is there any proof in rumors that they thought that these escapees are uh, escapees targeting the power source? Well, you know, no, nothing, uh, nothing is off the off the table at this moment. And the Uma Fai Fai patrolling uh, all of our critical sites. We're looking at VIPs, our government officials, uh, hotels, banks, all the Mai, our embassies, our embassy residents. All those things have been patrolled last night. We have it a couple command post We already thought it through. Uh, we'll notification. We also want to The furthest one that we have is Fashitu Uta in Mikael. So that's not to say they're not here or they're in Vaidima or anywhere else. They could be anywhere. But this is according to our map. Well, the, the closest one now away, closest to town, away from prison, of Fashitu Uta. Yeah. But these are the guys, if you've ever seen these guys, and if you don't, uh, uh, I mean, you can go on our Facebook page, all these things kind of came up really quickly last night. We wanted to let the, uh, it, it bring the message out to the public. Mm. 
So rest assured we're doing everything possible uh, uh, to bring these guys in quickly there were and reports safely as well. Of, there were reports of gunshots and, and, and a house being burned. Well, I, I don't know anything about uh, gunshots or, or a house being burned, but we did get uh, a guy that was walking around with his gun. No, he was not a prisoner. Oh. It's a, it's a, some community. Yeah, yeah, some person in the community that had his, his own weapon. So we confiscated the weapon, and we're dealing with him on a later date. Yeah, right now there's more priorities now. So let the So we're responding to our normal goals. We're responding to our commitments for the for the coronavirus, and now we're. Extending our resources in the prison guards here. So we have to balance and think where we put our priority and couple resources and make sure we accomplish at one time. So as you can see, it's a big task. And uh, but I think the Samoan police are really coming together right now to really fix this. And we'll do the best that we can with what we have and the training and the resources that we have. Don't fire you satisfied one million at one time. And we're okay with it. We can do it. We can do it. It's just a matter of time. Give us a little bit of patience. And we'll take care of it. My advice again to the churches: I won't fire local. Look if I long up, I'll fire local. Cut that off right now. We don't need the extra. I have all the resources. I have my. I can't walk the other door. And it can't find me. It's in the order. Do not go to church and congregate in there. Five or more. Yeah. So when you do those things, parky, and then I public places, and you got more than five fussy men. You're actually not not helping the situation where. It comes from a couple resources here. I've been always with my phone car, but now you make your strain, you're putting the strain on, on your, all resources here. This is your police uh, uh, service here. It's yours. It's our government. It's, it's the people. So please, so so I my, if I talk about if I test it, because it didn't find a little new one on my whole lover. We're all in this thing together. And we need to emerge as, as one country, as one people, uh, from these two things that's happening right now. Yeah, a couple of one. Okay. Well, how, many, how many officers? How many officers are We have close to 700 officers to quick call in the month. So it's a lot of work. So we have a public buses. So now we're using our own capacity, uh, my own vans, and we can make it here. And finally, I did it in my, 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 my